Do you have some time to speak about our lord and savior, Mongolian Techno? New music style that I've- and uh, just, an, just to get away from Scandinavia, I also went back into the kitchen because nobody cares about Mongolian Techno. I mean, it's a very good music that you should- anyway, um, I do have two new strats for the US. I have one super strong one and one super fun one. Today we are going to do go with the super strong one. I guess you can already guess what tech I'm researching. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, fuck. I have four research slots now. I have to... Ugh. Uh, hmm. That's... I now have to make a decision. I guess we're gonna research infantry without an MIO because I do need the PP. America is not doing very well right now at all. Infrastructure. We are just going to build in provinces and states, preferably those with resources. Roads. <laughs> I just fucking hate my <laughs> Help. We are going to take half of you, shoot you. No focus. We do need PP. We wait until we can grant statehood to Alaska. Additionally, before picking any focus, we also get small lobbying effort first. And once we're done with that, we can continue the new deal. And once the focus is done, say goodbye to the British. And then we can do a whoop -a. Isn't that that song from Cardi B? Right, the UK doesn't like that we left the Navy conference thing that they said was super important. But, uh... I know a little thing about history, so I don't really... I mean, I will, of course, disarm and definitely not put this into a folder somewhere and then burn that folder. Once you've burned the folder, you can go ahead and release all the puppets that you can release. And because I forgot about disarming the Navy, Italy and Japan will declare war on us. <laughs> I like playing this game. We can't go to limited conscription. That's stupid. But we can go to extensive conscription. That's not democratic pressure if I want to invite you to a faction so you survive. Yo, can I help Stop you? Stop pressuring me. I wouldn't mind invading Italy though. But how am I gonna get there? Dude! Oh no, I was navally invaded. I definitely didn't want this to happen. Oh no, they took Atu Island. Shucks. That's like super bad. Oh no, I have to do the homeland emergency defense and oh my god, look at that. We are war icon. Extensive conscription. 1946. Great Depression is gone. Oh my god, this America is busted. Okay, boys. We can now play the game in 1946 as America. Is this broken? No. Oh, true. I, I cannot spend PP. I, I don't have... <laughs> big sad anymore. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I need to think about what I'm gonna do now. Wait a minute, do I even need to lobby now? I don't even need to lobby at this point anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that's interesting is the Selective Training Act and I guess the Women's Armed Service Integration Act. Okay. <laughs> We didn't even have the election yet. We are at war. I think we are gonna stick to the Democrats. Although I guess we can go with Al- Alf Landon is another time. FRFR. Oh my god, I did- Oh! I didn't even see that. Trade queue, that's perfect. The most annoying part about MIOs for me was that you get these things so sporadically that I often didn't even bother with it and then I did like seven of them at once. Why did I assign this thing to... Like when I designed the ship, I could assign the new porch new ship building, but if I do this, it's not automatically assigning this. Okay guys, I finally figured out how my always work. They exist in two parallel universes. Number one, they can be applied to your production line to get funds and to get buffs to your production line. For example, production efficiency gain and cap. And two, they exist for the equipment itself. So a Bosch rifle, for example, will get the buffs from Bosch, but they can be produced by Porsche, even though Porsche doesn't produce the Bosch equipment. I mean, they do produce the Bosch equipment. So Porsche gets the funds, but Bosch is doing the actual equipment manufacturing. And I think, all this means is that this is just a gigantic JoJo reference. Oh, Jesus. 
Why does America have so much stuff? It's like it's a big country with lots of people and a big industry. Oh my god. We are going to hire Arnold. I think we're gonna run out of building slots. And you know what? I shall send my navy over to Honolulu. Kawaii. As some of you history nerds might know it. You can't just turn your cast into an absolute monster house. <laughs> we have 200 factories. It's 1937. <laughs> Let's drop here. Do some island hopping. China war has started. Ah, jeez. What am I gonna research? Uh, sure. I was wondering why we had dual purpose batteries already when I designed the cruiser earlier, but uh, yeah. I guess we can just cheat. Strike force. Invasion is going. I don't think we're gonna get total mope this game. <laughs> oh fuck, I don't have rubber. Rubber? I hardly know her. Honestly, I do have to admit a little bit, I'm just overwhelmed. Like, we can just do so much now and I don't really know where I should start. Iwo Shima! There we go. Look at that. We're at the doorsteps of Japan. They can go, although they shouldn't go just yet. I still need a few more naval bases here. I guess next best thing we can do now is get research slots. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Probably... Wait a minute. No, 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 that's too early. Too early. Uh, what do I do now? I didn't expect to win. There we go, we landed. MacArthur, please get over here. I kind of don't want to cap the Japanese too quickly because we do need to rack up a little bit of damage here. Every loss that I take is definitely intended here. Yes, we're pushing the back. Why is everybody... What? Why are there only five divisions here? What just happened? I'm genuinely going, gonna go for a lot of damage here, if possible. There we go, you guys fall back here. I'm gonna go for a little bit of chaos today, apart from going to war with Japan in 1936. I thought about annexing Puerto Rico and Hawaii, but also I don't really care. Sure, it's an additional core, but do I need cores? There we go, let's do it again. Oh, I wonder what I'm gonna do next down here. This is just Turkey all over again, man. I wonder if they're ever gonna have enough. Nope, still sending in more. Yo, Molotov Ribbentrop and I'm gonna join the commenter and the Soviets are the strongest power on the planet, obviously. We might as well do some convoy raiding for the mainland. That should also give us a little bit of war score and destroy these units. Look at the convoys getting destroyed. The Soviets are justifying against Poland. What? They don't have any units anymore on the front lines. Yeah, okay, that's, that's just pathetic. They're not doing anything right now. Hit the horse. Sounds like a euphemism. Flammenwerfers. Oh wait, if I wait long enough, China is just gonna peace out with the event. Uh, I know what happened. <laughs> Germany is not declaring war on Poland because they invited Italy and Italy is at war with me. They are at war with a major. They don't want to start another front war. The Soviets are hard coded if Poland doesn't die at X moment, then they are gonna go in. So, uh, we are now at war. I mean, the Soviets are at war with the Allies. How are you getting beaten by Poland? And I guess we can also invest in Turkey so they don't declare war on me again. I'm not gonna use the cheat button. Aha! Wall of Tokyo! What? Why? Oh, fuck! That's the same order! Ah, shit! Ah, fuck! Tits, cock! Let's hold back. I don't want the Japanese to capitulate. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was very close. It's so nice that I don't have to do the MIO stuff now. It's gonna make every single game even more tedious at the beginning because now I have to look at the MIO stuff. My capital is in Hinsk. His his in Actually, five building slots is nice because I have so much. Oh, it's, it's also nice not having to worry about stupid achievements and not being declared war on by five majors. I was declared war on by Italy and Japan, but I'm also a major. And most importantly, <laughs> it's Italy. <laughs> there we go. The Axis finally declared war on the Allies. Whoa, 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 whoa. I guess more war score for me. We do have a problem now. Cannot build. I guess I'm gonna build roads. Roosevelt versus Wookie. He is worse than Roosevelt in terms of stats, but I wanna see if you have a picture. Oh, wow, you do have a picture. And, uh, has anybody ever done this? Oh, my. <sighs> Stockpiles. Uh, also, I think. Yeah, there we go. That should probably help my stockpile situation a little bit. And let's just go to limited exports. Look at that. Fixed the entire economy. Are they not going to Molotov? Okay, uh, I really messed this game up. Yeah, uh, could be much worse. The Battlefront, what? <laughs> 
Da fuck. Winter War, Continuation War and Comi China has done something. Stalingrad, oh my god, Stalin, what are you doing? Oh my god. New general for China. Why do I lose war support? Ah, because you're at war with communist China. I guess that makes sense that I would lose. I guess it wouldn't really make sense that I lose war support for that. MacArthur, time for a vacation in Europa. I hope you brought your sunglasses. This looks so wrong. The Soviets are almost capitulating and they've only lost 1 million. 1 million damage Soviet Union. If I didn't join, the next one would be Mongolia with 10. Ready or not? Proclaim the United Union. We lost the entire order here, but also... All of this is occupied territory. 230 divisions that we can just do stuff with. Oh my, uh, let's just see. Oh god, that's such a mess. All of these templates can go. Wait a minute, I, I'm not at war with the allies. Oh man, I kind of wanted to fight the allies now. I shall disband the common turn and I shall join the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I shall join the Mongolian British. Yes. One thing they could have done with the join the unions thing. Give you like 30% compliance or something, you know? Because it is a mutual thing. Wait, why am I losing so much RT? What the fuck? How did you lose 24,000 pieces of artillery in the past year? Did you drop it in the snow or? Some units are uncircled and cut off. Are you sure these units are uncircled? I guess I can change those. And those I want to change. <laughs> ah, but I don't have the Soviet divisions, Soviet templates. Ah, let's just shoot them then. Should help with the supply a little bit. That's Iceland that requests the... Wait, I didn't get to annex Denmark. There we go, give me... Ah, I already have enough land as it is. <laughs> Ooh. I do like the Swedish ball bearings as the US very much. Lose a bit of XP and get huge buffs. I guess we're gonna cast it up. MacArthur, just sort of push this. Let me join the Mongolian British war. Tanner what? Destroyers for bases? I can annex more land. That's stupid. Nobody can annex Sanatuba. Well, at least I can annex Mongolia and get some Mongolian techno. And the tanks are gonna go on truck trucks. I'm just gonna see if I can push with them. Okay, they are completely out of supply, but it doesn't matter. Let's just keep on attacking with the tanks. You try and get... Okay, never mind. The tanks can't push. <laughs> oh, look at supply. Supply is green. I'm also not gonna build modern tanks. It's not worth it right now. It's much better for me to get a few more uh, medium tanks out. <laughs> Especially if they're just blitzing like this. <laughs> that was much easier than I expected it to be. From up here here into was it uh, let's get uh tumba first i guess the only thing that makes sense to upgrade right now is armor actually i'm gonna go for this lowers the production cost a little bit increases armor you know um oh they're not at war with us sure i still don't know what economic capacity surplus means aha we get a bit of construction bonus they're starting to invade italy and true they also have turkey Ugh. Ah, I really don't like that Turkey joins the Allies. It's an okay DLC, but I mean, not really. I don't like the DLC. <laughs> Why am I defending it? <laughs> you are splitting up too much, boys. We don't need to do such a big attack. We need to do small attack. We need to do like something like this and then boom, you know, drive across the Volga and into Astrakhan. We can find Siberia's black there. Siberius? Where did I get Siberius from? Look at the Germans, they don't want to be in circle. Me, 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 me. Don't want to die, huh? That was a nice encirclement. 18 men for 73k. How did I do 4 million damage already? I just did a few small encirclements here. Uh, what did the UK do? How did the UK do? There we go, let's go to Kharkov and then um, let's also take Kursk with us. You know what? Let's do a tour de Russia, Orel and Tula. It's such a stupidly offensive one, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to go for even more. You know what? You're only young once in your life. Okay, not that young. Drove into Moscow with a tank. <laughs> Get it? I am overstretching a little bit. I'll have to use you as a defensive line. <laughs> Just join this front line, please. The next one is the arrows level. Let's take that one. Got it. I could make. I could finish the encirclement here, or I could not. 
There's not even a unit here. I think the Germans are running out of units. Come on, we can do it. You know what? Let's just continue going. <laughs> There's nobody here. <laughs> Come on, I want to complete it. Yes, there we go. <laughs> This is so fucking stupid. Let's just check. I mean, drill. Oh, fuck. You're such an asshole. Always. When he's kicking, he's, he's making sure to hit my balls and give it a little bit of extra squeeze. Anyway, um, I just want to see how many units are in here. That is 166 German divisions of 506. You can do the math on the screen, I will do it for you. I mean, my editor will do it for you. The Germans have lost 5.3 million to us just now. I think I'm making Stalin proud right now. That was a pocket of 2 million. <laughs> They're still fighting here. You were pushed back, how did you manage that? Oh, the Finns, why are you mill accessing them? I guess you want Karelia back, but I'm not gonna give it back. I'm just borrowing it from a friend that I shot. This is bullshit. Uh, to be the AI just for one day to be able to cheat units through allied territory they just used mill axes from finland and walked into here i forgot that i took out japan in like 1938 because i was like hmm something feels wrong apart from all of this but like i was like i forgot about something no i just dealt with it early and we have to take out the right i forgot haha <laughs> there we go okay uh, only the uk and i have points that's interesting and i have just a little bit less than they do i'm giving poland a big nice hug here finally they have a good neighbor after a few years pretty much i mean the only weird thing is the non-aligned uk i don't see anything else weird on this map i guess that is odd this u.s strat very fun i do recommend trying it once and now after the job well done i'm gonna go hit the horse